Hello, everybody. Welcome to Hoshisaki Technical Training. My name is Liam McAlfrey, and I'm here with David Bowen today, and we're going to cover two common types of ice maker bin controls, mechanical and thermostatic. Hey, Dave, could you explain to us how a mechanical bin control works? Sure. It's a magnetic switch, so as the ice level builds into the ice storage bin, it raises the level enough to activate the door, holds the door in, and then the internal switch will open. The board sees this as a full ice storage bin and will start the shutdown sequence to turn the machine off. It will not turn the machine off in harvest or any time in freeze after five minutes. So it only turns the machine off within the first five minutes of freeze cycle. A thermostatic bin control switch, when it's installed in the machine, will be normally closed, sending power to the, the ice maker to make ice, and the board lights up. In the event the ice builds, contacts the sensor bulb, then it opens the circuit, kills power to the machine, and also the board lights will cut out. So Dave, could you give us a rundown on the proper installation for a mechanical bin control? When you receive a new Hoshizaki ice maker with a mechanical bin control switch, oftentimes it's not installed. Uh, it has to hang down below the bottom of the ice maker so it's shipped inside the ice maker. The instruction manual will have instructions on where to find that bin control. So you take the bin control out and it, you lower the bin control bracket into the ice storage bin. Then you go in through the uh, ice storage bin and mount the, the bin control switch to the bracket. If you lower this bin control down, the bin fills up with less ice. You raise this bin control up and it will allow you a higher level. It always must be mounted vertically, cannot be mounted horizontal. On its side, any kind of way, it must be mounted vertical. The thermostatic bin control switch has a mounting bracket with the same bolt pattern as the mechanical bin control switch. It can be raised and lowered on the bracket, lower it down for less ice in the storage bin, and you raise it up for more ice in the storage bin. So Dave, tell me what my machine would be doing if I had a failed bin control switch. Bin control switch normally fails in the, the open position. The internal switch would be open, telling the board that the machine's full of ice when actually there's no ice. So if you've got an open bin control switch, the yellow light is on the board. Make sure that the door moves freely, that it's not held in by lime and scale. So make sure your door moves in and out freely and the switch is still open, then you have a bad bin control switch. You have a mechanical bin control switch that is stuck closed, so the switch is always telling the board to make ice. It'll make ice up, the ice will fill up past the bin control switch, and then it'll build up into the evaporator, causing excessive ice buildup in the evaporator area. So Dave, how do I diagnose a thermostatic bin control switch? Well, a thermostatic bin control switch uh, operates off of temperature. Of course, the ice is going to be around 32 degrees, so when ice contacts the sensor bulb, it opens the internal switch. The internal switch has two connectors on it, which you have two brown wires coming in from the back of the unit just prior to the fuse. When this bin control switch opens, kills power to the fuse, which drops power out to the control board. No lights on the board at all if you have an open thermostatic bin control switch. The thermostatic bin control switch, if it's stuck closed, ice will build up past the sensor bulb and continue to make ice until ice uh, builds up into the evaporator. So if you got ice on the bulb, it should cut off between six and 10 seconds. If it does not, leave ice on the bulb, rotate the dial on the thermostatic bin control counterclockwise very slowly until it does cut off. If it still does not cut off and you've gone all the way to the max fully counterclockwise, then you'll want to replace your bin control thermostat. So how do we test a mechanical bin control switch? Mechanical bin control switch is uh, just a magnetic switch that either opens and closes with the ice level and pushes the door. So when you have it sitting in the machine in a vertical position with no ice on the door, it should be closed. So with a closed switch, an ice bills, pushes the door in, it opens. So very gently press it, don't slam it. Just let your switch do the work. 
and it should open every time you push that in. If you want to go 10 times and it opens and closes every time, then that is a good switch. If you have a bad switch, then it could be a couple of different things, a bad internal switch or lime and scale is built up and is actually holding the door and won't let the door open. In the event the door will not open, you can take it apart and clean it. It's hung with two pins, so you can take the door off and there's an internal flapper with a magnet on it. So make sure that's in the down position and your door moves in and out freely. And that would be the way that you would take it apart and clean it. So if your bin control is installed and hooked up to the K4 red connector on the board, you can let the board tell you if the switch is operating properly. So when the bin control is installed in the machine and there's no ice touching the door, you will have a green light BC closed on the circuit board. This is the green light we're looking at, bin control closed, meaning the internal switch is closed. The board sees that as go ahead and make ice. Ice builds up, pushes the door in with a short delay. The light changes to boom control open. So a yellow light on the control board means as it begins the freeze cycle, it will shut down. So how do you test a thermostatic bin control switch? So the way you test it is uh, you, at room temperature, it should be closed. So you put your probes on, stick the bulb in ice, and within about six to 10 seconds, it opens. So that is a good switch. If it takes longer than six to 10 seconds, there is an adjustment knob on it. You can take a flat blade screwdriver and adjust it counterclockwise for warmer and clockwise for colder. So when you have a thermostatic bin control switch, it is factory set. So it should be set to cut off within six to 10 seconds of contact with ice on the bulb. In higher altitudes, it may require an adjustment. So you just turn the adjustment knob clockwise for colder and make sure that it does when contact with ice, it cycles off between six and 10 seconds. Thank you for joining us today for Hoshisaki Technical Training. If you need further information, you can contact us at Technical Support.